Today, I'm going to be going to orbit in Kerbal Space Program RSS, or Real Solar System for short. I'll also be using Realism Overhaul, or RO for short as well. And um, yeah, we're going to be going to orbit. Now, these mods provide a real challenge for Kerbal Space Program, as the Kerbala system in the stock game is extremely small. The planets are extremely small compared to the planets in our solar system and other planets we've discovered in the universe. So it's a very small scale space game. But this mod doesn't allow that. This mod gives you the, a one-to-one -one scale of the entire solar system. And I think that's pretty cool. This also makes for more of a challenge as planets are bigger, you know, have more of an atmosphere, blah, blah, blah. You know, you need more velocity to enter orbit. And lots of different things, but it's actually really cool. I'm really enjoying playing this mod. And um, so far, I haven't done much. So far, I've only really figured out how to get to orbit. To get to orbit, you need about 10,000 meters per second of delta V. At least that's what this rocket that I'm constructing here has. Um, but yeah. Anyway, it's got three stages. The first stage has um, one small fuel tank, a capsule, a four seed capsule, which is not in the stock game, a heat shield, and a parachute pack. Then it's got six Twitch engines, which are part of the stock game. The second stage has a big fuel tank and an E1 engine, which uh, I'm not even sure what real life rocket has that engine. And we've also got some space shuttle engines on the bottom stage. Now, I didn't like how the orange fuel tanks looked on the sides, so I replaced them with SRBs and we still have enough fuel anyway. Anyway, now we can just extend the size and we can begin the launch sequence, which will start very shortly. As you'll see here, we are now here at Cape Canaveral, at uh, <clears throat> NASA's Cape Canaveral um, launch site in Florida. And as you can see, we are taking off here. The launch clamps have released us and we are rocketing up into the sky, not on Kerbin, but on our own planet Earth. And look at this, the graphics look amazing. Now, obviously we don't want to turn too far at the start of our ascent as Earth's atmosphere is a lot more soupy than Kerbin's, meaning it has a lot more drag and all that. But anyway, now we can begin our ascent. As you can see here, we are just, just attaching the side rocket boosters, the solid rocket motors on the sides, and we can continue our way to orbit. Now, the thing about some of these engines, especially this E1 engine that I'm firing up now, is it can only be ignited once, meaning we have to be very careful with how we do our orbital burn. Now, this second stage actually won't get us all the way to orbit, though. That'll be the job for the third stage with the Twitch engines. The reason why I'm using the Twitch engines is because the Twitch engines can be reignited infinite times, I'm pretty sure. Well, at least until their fuel runs out, obviously. But anyway, here we are ascending to orbit. Obviously, the ascent to orbit is much slower than it would be, you know, doing a Kerbin ascent. And as you can see, we've basically already reached Kerbin orbital velocity, but um, we're going like 4,000 meters a second now. But um, orbital velocity of the Earth is about 9,000, I think. It's something like that. I, I can't remember the exact numbers. But anyway, here we are. This just looks so cool. I gotta say, the Earth, in this mod looks absolutely amazing but anyway here we are we've just detached the second stage and now we're on to the twitch engine stage now this was a very 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 slow orbital insertion burn and as you can see here yeah it was a bit wobbly i expected it to be more stable i guess i probably should have added some monopropellant or reaction wheels or something or something like that i don't know but anyway, yeah, as you can see, the Earth looks absolutely amazing, the Sun looks amazing, and everything is the right distances from each other, and you know, all the planets are directly to scale, have the exact same features. And this makes for some real cool content that I can make in the future. But look at that! We have now put the first Kerbals in orbit. Or I guess, let's just use humans, because you know, this is Earth, I guess. And yeah, look at that. As you can see, we have a rather circular orbit. However, we have a pretty high apoapsis, but our periapsis still breaches the atmosphere. So yeah, we're fine. But now we're going to perform our retrograde burn to get back down into the atmosphere. And damn, this thing was very unstable uh, with the Twitch engines on. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it was, it kind of sucked, but we still, we still managed to perform our retrograde burn and re-enter the atmosphere. 
Now, I'm really enjoying playing RSS slash RO, and I think it'd be really fun if I did a RP1 career mode um, playthrough, if you don't know what RP1 stands for, realistic progression, and it's a mod that involves um, RSS and RO. So it's basically doing a career mode in you know a realistic solar system, which I think would be really cool. But let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below, because I want to make content that you guys enjoy. Anyway, as you can see here, we are re-entering the atmosphere um, with our heat shield is starting to heat up here. And yep, the atmosphere obviously starts a lot higher than it does on Kerbin, simply because of the mass of Earth and obviously, yeah, it's got a bigger atmosphere. But anyway, here we are, we have entered the atmosphere and now we are descending into the... I don't even know what ocean this is. I didn't really check on the map view. But anyway, there we go. Our three parachutes have deployed and we are descending back down to Kerbin. Look at that. We've got our three parachutes out and we are landing at a comfortable 7.3 meters per second for a nice splashdown in the ocean. So anyway, I'm really enjoying RSS. Let me know what you prefer, stock KSP or RSS RO. And I'll definitely make some more content on this in the future. And I'll just leave you with a time lapse of me recovering everything. And I'll see you guys next time.